Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today I wanted to do a semester recap. So this is our fall um, fourth grade semester, what we've covered and what we're planning for the spring semester. Um, so like I said, we're in fourth grade. We are using a variety of curriculum. I like to pull and, and piece together things based upon my learner's interests, um, but we don't really do unit per se. So uh, for language arts, we have been using um, a little bit of um, moving beyond the page, ages seven through nine that we had last year that we didn't completely finish. So we used a few of those. Um, we have pulled some uh, language arts units from Brave Writer. Um, so we've done, I think, four or five um, units from them. And we have Blossom and Root for fourth grade um, for language arts. And the way we've been doing language arts is that I get four or five of the books and give my learner a choice which one they want to do. Um, and so then we read the book of my learners choosing and we do whichever curriculum goes along with that. Um, we're going to continue that. I think we finished out, I think we have one more unit from the moving beyond the page that we can choose from. Um, I think we have, nope, probably two units from moving beyond the page that we can choose from. Um, and I think we finished all of the Brave Writer units that I had purchased. Well, we're in the middle of one for the Wild Robot. So we're, we'll finish that one um, before the end of the semester. And um, then the rest are going to be pulled from uh, the Blossom and Root uh, curriculum. Um, for history, we are using Blossom and Root's uh, US history and um, uh, Woke Homeschooling's O oh Freedom history curriculum. Um, they both cover similar time periods. And so we're just kind of going um, in order of time to cover that US history piece. Um, but we are, you know, that might mean that we do a few more from this area and then a few more from this curriculum um, so that we're keeping them kind of along the same time period. Um, that's working well and we will continue to do that, though I do think that we will be um, maybe uh, trying to move through those a little bit faster than the current pace, um, just because I think we've been a little bit slower at it, um, but we'll see. I mean, those are sometimes kind of heavy topics. So I think that's just why we've gotten into side conversations, which is great. Um, so we'll just kind of see how the pacing on that continues. We might not finish them in a year. And I think both of those programs say that they don't have to be completed in a year. I know um, Oh Freedom um, says you can spread it out over two years um, for sure. And I think that the uh, Blossom and Root will have a second part that comes out um, later because it's not covering everything either. So um, we're just going to see how those play out. Uh, math, we're using teaching textbooks, um, and that's going well. Um, we actually uh, just completed a statewide testing um, for uh, math and are scheduled to do reading next week. And um, based upon those results, you know, we might increase um, or decrease some of the math uh, skills that we're working on, but we're going to use the results of the statewide assessment to provide us with a little bit more um, feedback. Um, our plan is that we will be continuing homeschooling until we start middle school, but at middle school, um, my, right now, the plan is that my learner will go back into public school at middle school. Um, so we do um, want to kind of see where they are in comparison and then make sure that we aren't missing large gaps there. Um, for science, this semester we have been using Blossom and Roots Science for fourth grade, and it has been covering physics and engineering. Um, so like one half is physics, one half is engineering um, each week. And that's been really fun. My learner has really enjoyed it, especially on the engineering side and the hands-on um, things. Um, 
in the next semester, we will continue to use that. And in the next semester, um, it switches over to um, anatomy. So learning about the human body and my learners really looking forward to that. So I think that'll be um, fun here in the spring for us to cover. And I've got um, a bunch of cool books to go with that one as well. Um, let's see, for electives, um, this semester we have been participating in a homeschool group that offers some uh, group classes uh, very nearby our house. Um, so that's super cool. And it gives some peer opportunities um, to engage with others. Um, so we have been doing um, PE two days a week um and then art one day and lego robotics the other day and my learner has enjoyed those loves pe um which is great okay um you know but likes to get out there with the other kids and and learn all the new sports and everything so um we're going to continue to do pe next semester um art has been fun um but my learner is kind of like eh, i don't know that i want to continue art um, because a lot of it has been painting and we have acrylics here and we've done painting and and so it's kind of um, not really a novel um, art medium for my learner. I think maybe if that art class had covered uh, things that weren't uh, acrylics on canvas, then maybe my learner would have been a little bit more um, interested to continue it. That's okay, it's an elective. So, you know, um, and then the Lego Robotics, um, they are able to continue um, through like the booklet and the activities um, the next semester if they do continue, but there will also be learners who are maybe starting for the first time. So they're sort of gonna have like two groups um, going and my learner, um, actually has found that you know it's he's he can do it pretty independently um where uh following the directions um online and then getting things to work so i think that might just be like an independent um pursuit that we add to our homeschool routine but that we don't do as an elective with a group so that we can kind of move through that at our own pace, but it also kind of ties in with some of the engineering stuff that we've been learning this semester. Um, so electives for next semester that my learner is interested in, um, American Sign Language, um, which is cool because I took that for, I want to say I took like two semesters of it in college um and i probably don't remember much of it now um but uh uh but that'll be cool because it'll be a refresher for me and um then i will um it, sorry so then my learner will get to practice some uh, sign language, that's an elective. Um, and then we signed up for a writing um, class, just because we haven't really had any structured writing uh, instruction. <laughs> um, we've been doing writing within curriculum and we have night zookeeper. So we practice writing, uh, creative writing on a regular basis. Um, but we, uh, my learners never had any real instruction in it. So thought that would be good to kind of like make sure again, we're not missing any gaps. Um, and my learner agreed that might be pretty cool. And then we are on two days a week. So each of those things is one day a week, PE is two days a week. And then the other two day a week will be, um, state uh studies alaska specific studies um it's not a requirement but in the public school it is something that the learners um get uh in elementary school and so i think it will be really good to have uh that background before we move into middle school where 
everybody else will have learned um, lots of facts about the state and the state history and my learner will not. So that's why we're covering that one. Um, but it also is going to be three hours, two days a week out of the house with peers, which again, I think is really good. It allows some of that social opportunity. Um, it also allows a lot of independence because the way that this um, homeschool group is set up is it's a community center and they actually have like several classes going at the same time and the kids switch. Everybody switches after an hour and goes to a different class. So it's kind of a good prep for middle school when they'll have to be changing classes anyway. Um, so yeah, so those are our plans. That's what we've been doing for the semester. That's what we plan to do in the spring. And then later this spring, we'll start figuring out what we're gonna look at for next year. So thank you for so much for listening. Um, let me know how your semester went is going um, or what you plan to do next semester. And thanks for watching. <laughs>